Hello everyone and welcome to my video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about uh, power quality measurement devices and especially we will study about a harmonic analyzer. Harmonic analyzer or harmonic meters are relatively simple instruments for measuring and recording harmonic distortion data. Each normal harmonic analyzer contains waveform display screen, voltage leads as well as current props. Some of the harmonic analyzer are normally handheld type device or some of the harmonic analyzer are tabletop type. Some of the harmonic analyzer provides snapshot of the waveform and harmonic distortion pertaining to the instant during which the measurement is made while some other type of harmonic analyzer provides recording snapshots as well as a continuous record of harmonic distortion over a period of time. To study the sampling rate, we have to study Nyquist frequency criteria. In order to accurately determine the frequency content, the sampling frequency of the measuring instrument must be greater than twice the frequency of the highest harmonic of interest. Now what may be the highest frequency of the harmonics? Normally measurement up to the 25th harmonic is sufficient because we know that uh, as the order of harmonic increase its amplitude substantially decrease so if we do the measurement up to 25th harmonics then it is sufficient then according to Nyquist criteria to accurately determine the frequency content of a 60 Hertz fundamental frequency waveform up to the 25th harmonic number the harmonic measuring instrument must have a minimum sampling rate of 3000 samples per second. That is 25th harmonic multiplied by 60 Hz fundamental frequency and double the frequency minimum. So it comes to 3000 samples per second. We have voltage harmonic data and we use voltage leads to measure between the point a voltage distortion data. We have leads that can be attached to the points at which the distortion measurements are needed. In the figure we can see one handheld type of uh, harmonic analyzer. We have voltage leads, we have current props and we have meter and with a screen which display the snapshot of the harmonic distortion. Then we have current harmonic distortion data. In the figure we can see the current probes which we use to measure current harmonic distortion data. Normally in current probes we use a iron core type of transformer and we can easily measure the harmonic distortion in any conductor. We have to take care that iron core type of transformer gives error at higher frequencies and when it increases the rated value of the current then again it goes into situation and it gives very non-linear output with error. We can have current waveform as well as current history graph. In the figure we can see one current waveform of a lighting panel which provides a supply to the fluorescent lights and we can see the waveform of the current and at the same time we can have a current history graph also. The harmonic distortion snapshots along with the history graph are very useful in determining the nature of the harmonics and their occurrence pattern. Thank you very much for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.